What is up guys, it's the NJB here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a cheap Italian team that I built. So in total I probably spent probably around just under 25k, so probably around like 22k. So that's kind of the price you'd have to pay for this whole team and yeah so let's just get right into it. So I start off with the bench, I believe I might have packed this guy, yeah I did. So this guy, um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. but. Basically, I kind of look for these players like um, on Footwiz. It's kind of like a website. So this is the first owner. Um, okay, I actually packed that guy. I see Icardi. All right, so I I uh, bought Icardi and only for 2,700 coins. So he's one of the best strikers in the Serie A. Um, I do believe before him it's probably like Iguain and D or not Dybala anymore. Um, Maybe Mertens if he's playing striker, so that's that. You see, I only got him for 2700 and he's a pretty good player. I mean, he's got some pretty good stats. I know he's a good player in real life, so I kind of trust that makes him a good player in the game. He's 84 rated, 83 shots, 78 pace, so that's pretty good. It's not that fast, but it's pretty good. And 76 dribbling, so that's that. Um, Oh yeah, by the way, Icardi now has 3 star skills, so that's much better than he was last year. Because the, In the previous years, he only had 2 stars, so that's good. Next we have Nani, and I didn't even know he was in the, like, I didn't even know he moved to Italy, but he is, as you know, 4 star, or 5 star weak foot, 5 star skills, so that's good. I only got him for 1600, so pretty good player, especially now that you need a lot of like good dribbling and um, good skills to kind of like win games um, he really fits into that really well there's a lot of good skills if you really like using skills you can get him and he's really cheap and yeah so that's that that's a lot so I got him for a thousand you can see it's 80 pace and 79 dribbling so dribbling and pace are usually what I look for in um, fullbacks um, pace isn't such a huge factor as it was in previous FIFA so 80 pace is pretty good and if, even if you run into people with like 90 pace or players with 90 pace or more, you should be able to deal with them pretty well. Um, here is first owner. And Niang got it for 1300. He has 89 pace, 81 dribbling, 75 shots. So he's just got pretty good stats already. Um, he's six foot, so he's pretty strong. Physicality is uh, 67, so he is pretty strong, I guess. Uh, four star weak foot, four star skill. So then again, more skills, pretty good dribbling, pretty good pace. He will be pretty well in the field. Um, Perrin, he got him for 1100. He's a pretty good player. I'm 83 rated, so that's that. He's a good solid keeper, and he saved me quite a few times. It could just be because of the update, because they did update and make the keepers better. But he is a pretty good keeper nonetheless. So. We have Jesus, so I did manage to pack him. Um, let me just see how much his price is. So, he is 77 rated, but he does have a decent amount of pace. Alright, so you guys can get him for a pretty cheap price. You can get him for under 2k. So he's a pretty solid um, defender, 79 pace. Pretty good. Um, also, he's 6'1", so it's pretty tall. Or tall enough. Um, you have Lorenzo, uh, Tonelli, um, six six feet, just like um, Jesus, I believe that was what the same was. Um, yeah, Jesus. Okay, or Jesus because he's Brazilian. So he's a good defender as well. Seventy four pace. Um, defenders, I really look for height, physicality, and uh, pace. So as long as the pace is seventy or above, I usually like just sign them. And as long as they're tall enough, I don't want anyone that that's too short. Um, he's pretty good. Um, I got him for 800 coins, so yes, that pretty cheap. Um, he's a rare gold player, uh, just 79 rated. Um, I have Joe Cancelo or Jao Cancelo. Um, got him for 3,000, so he's a bit pricey. It's mainly because he has 92 pace, so he does have 3,000. I mean, I did have to pay 3,000 for him, but I'm pretty sure by the time you watch this video, the price probably would have dropped just a little bit. Well, let me see. Oh no, actually. So he's still pretty pricey, but that's mainly because of the pace. But you guys can probably pick him up for cheaper, for 3,000 or cheaper. So you just have to keep looking. All right, here we have Allen, just 11,000. He's pretty solid, a midfielder. 
um, 5'9", so he's got decent height, um, got decent pace, and pretty good dribbling. 77 pace, 78 dribbling. And we have um, Borja Valero, um, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills, and 70 pace, 85 dribbling. As I said before, dribbling is such a key feature in this game. Um, the more you practice it and the better your players are that do have good dribbling, the better you're going to be. And this guy is really good for me. Um, I really do abuse the skills and um, the cam position. So I do like to dribble a lot with it. I do like to take a lot of shots and I scored. Or have I scored with this guy? Yeah, I scored three goals with him. And I've only had him for, let's see, it's basically three games, three goals. So I scored in pretty much every game with him. So you can see right there, he's a pretty good player. You guys can sign him. Actually, let me check the price again. So just uh, uh, 1300 so you don't have to get that many coins for him. So for Zielinski, the next player, I just spent 1,000 coins for him. Um, you can see 5 star weak foot and 4 star skills. I do like using the skills with this guy. Um, you can see games played, he's played um, 2 games with me, he scored 1 goal, so that's pretty good. Um, I do like to do kind of possession play a bit, and I use a lot of players, so that's kind of why my midfielders have a pretty good amount of goals. So that's that, he's a good player. Yeah, Felipe Anderson, you know, he's always a good player in like almost every FIFA. 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills, a 92 pace, 86 dribbling, so it's good. Uh, I paid 2000 for him, so that's pretty good. Um, I haven't scored any goals with him yet, but I'm pretty sure I would. The reason I skipped uh, Boletti is because, well, I have scored two goals with him, but I am a first owner. And he, if you want to spend the coins, or like if you get packs and you get enough coins, you could get him. But I packed him, so you guys can see that he's a bit pricey at the moment. He's not like really expensive, but he's not really going to be in your budget so I'm going to ignore him for right now but we do have El Shirawe right here um I haven't scored any goals with him yet but I've only played two games with him so you guys already know a uh, two star weak fit so that's not that great but he does have five star skills and using skills a lot in this game really helps I'm 87 pace so he's pretty fast and 75 shots so that's pretty good and I only got him for 1400 coins so Basically, this is the squad I have. Um, might as well just put a left back right here. And I will have to buy another player. But I did have a lone player. So that's why that spot is empty. I was using a lone, um, a lone, um, what's it called? Team of the Week player. And it was an Italian one. Or well, not Italian, but Syria one, obviously. So I don't, I'm gonna have to buy like another player for that. But right here, this is the squad I have. Um, I did say I spent less than 22k on it. Um, with some exceptions, I did get this guy in a pack. Um, who else did I get in a pack? I did get some more players in a pack. So I got him in a pack, but if you look on a transfer market, you can see he's pretty cheap. Um, so we got him, and yeah, most of these players are pretty cheap, especially Cardi, just 2700 for one of the best strikers in the Italian league. So, this has been my video on just a cheap squad you can build for your Italian league, and it works pretty well in Ultimate Team. That would be that. This is a good squad. You can see the ratings at 80 and the chemistry at 100, so it is pretty good. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is me and NJB, and I plan to do this type of video with the Premier League side. Um, I will use the same site. It's called Footwiz.com. So I will use that to kind of find players and build it, and I'll let you guys know once I do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is me and NJB, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, mates.